Hey, Giants fans, voice of the New York Giants, Bob Papa here. And the 2021 schedule is released. We are so excited to bring you the broadcast on the WFAN Giants radio network and through all the Giants media platforms. And the guy will be by my side for all 17 games this year, two-time Super Bowl champion Carl Banks. Carl, always exciting when the schedule comes out. Now we get a chance to kind of look at things in totality and – it really whets your appetite for the start of the season. Well, yeah, and this is like, again, the, the release of a schedule gets players excited. It gets fans excited. And then the pundits start to talk about what's going to happen. Oh, this is a loss. This is a win. This is a loss. But in reality, as we go through this, we know the composition of teams changes on a weekly basis. So we know one thing is for certain, and this is this is one of the things that, players and coaches now can sort of hammer home in the off season is there is a specific opponent on a specific mm -hmm. date. And the Giants know that they're opening up their schedule at home against the Denver Broncos on Sunday, September the 12th. It's, a, it's an opponent they don't normally play, AFC West team, but it's still a carrot nonetheless to sort of focus in on. Well, it is, and it, this is the thing where coaches can really get their players' attention because it's a team that they don't know a lot about. They know a lot of the names on the team. They didn't have a great record, but they got a really good defense. They got guys coming back, and who knows who's going to be playing quarterback. And the Giants get to open up at home, but then it's a, it's a pretty quick turnaround, Carl, because, you know, every team has to play on Thursday night, and the Giants get their Thursday nighter out of the way pretty quickly when they take on Washington on the road, the defending NFC East champions. Now, this is going to be an interesting game, Bob, because they're the defending NFC East champions, but the Giants swept them last year. So this is going to be a game that I'm sure Washington has circled on their calendar, and the Giants, you know, feel like they should, should have uh, won their division by beating those guys twice. And it'll be a little Fitz magic. Uh, they'll get Giants. will get a look at Ryan Fitzpatrick, who they've seen over the years bounce around from team to team. Uh, then the Giants are back at home. They're going to take on the Atlanta Falcons. We know the kind of weapons that the Falcons have, so this will be a real test for the Giants' defense with Matt Ryan, Julio Jones, and company. Oh, it will be. But then again, it's going to be a test for the uh, Falcons defense too, because the Giants have some firepower this year there. It's going to be an arms race. That's two in a row on the road. The Giants going to go to New Orleans, but you know, there's no Drew Brees and that might make things a little bit different. Listen, playing in New Orleans for the Giants at least has never been a good trip. I mean, it's, you got to go back a long time for it to have been a good trip. So there's always the challenge of going down to the dome. You expect fans there. There is the uncertainty at quarterback, so that's going to be an intriguing matchup for the Giants. It's the first of two in a row on the road, by the way. Well, the intriguing part about that, aside from the quarterback, you have Sean Payton calling in play, so they're going to have some continuity. But the fans, if the fans are in the building, that's going to be probably the first of the, the loud games that the Giants are going to have to play in. And on October the 10th, the Giants are in Dallas to take on the Cowboys. Look, it looks like Dak Prescott is going to be healthy, and his progress has been really good. He got signed to a deal. Dallas got a lot of weapons on the offensive side of the ball. It's going to be an interesting matchup because I think last year might have been an aberration for the Cowboys, and I expect them to be a strong team this year. Well, offensively, they're going to have continuity. Defensively, they've added some players, so we'll see – uh, how this one shakes out, but they, they've had the Giants' number even in a, in a down year. And the Giants are back at home for two in a row. They've got the Rams with their new quarterback, Matthew Stafford. Then they have the Carolina Panthers coming into MetLife Stadium. So, uh, you know, you got the Rams, and they've kind of reshaped. They don't have any draft picks for, like, the next 40 years. And then the Carolina Panthers under Matt Rule, second-year head coach, Look, they traded for Sam Darnold. Sam Darnold gets to come back to MetLife Stadium. It's an intriguing pot of games. No, it is. And, you know, the, uh, the Rams are a legitimate deep playoff team, and uh, Carolina's trying to find their identity, much like the Giants. So this, by this point of the season, we'll kind of have an idea of what this Giant football team is like. 
The Giants have two primetime games over a four-week span. Actually, it's a three-game span, but four weeks on the calendar. Uh, after the Carolina game on November the 1st, the Giants have a Monday night game against the defending AFC champion Kansas City Chiefs, followed by the Raiders. So it's a little AFC West thing uh, in back-to-back weeks. Monday night game against the Chiefs and then back at MetLife Stadium against the Raiders. Uh, obviously, they're dealing with Patrick Mahomes, Andy Reid. This is going to be a big challenge for Joe Judge and his staff. It absolutely is. This is kind of the gold standard for uh, NFL competition when you go up against the Kansas City Chiefs. I mentioned uh, the Raiders then back home before going into the bye. I think the Raiders are an intriguing team, right, with John Gruden as the head coach and and Derek Carr at the quarterback. I feel like they're showing signs of turning the corner, and they've done a good job of drafting the last couple of years. And and I think the Raiders are going to be a pretty good team this year. Well, they should be, they could be, Bob, but they're kind of Jekyll and Hyde. And again, we're at that part of the schedule now where, you know, the composition of these teams may be a little different. We always have to keep that in mind. Giants are going to have their bye week and then uh, return back to action November 22nd. Again, it's a Monday night. And again, it's against a high-powered team. It's the Tampa Bay Bucks on the road. Now, look, last year the Giants – gave the Bucs all they can handle on a Monday night at MetLife Stadium. This year, the Giants have to go down there and play Tom Brady and the Super Bowl champions. Uh, look, I know they won the Super Bowl last year, but the Giants did play the Bucs toe-to-toe, and this is an improved team, I believe the Giants are going to be. Should be a lot of fun in Tampa on a Monday night. Yeah, that'll be fun. You, you would want to see one of those Monday night games at home, but you just got to take them where they come. Then it's the Philadelphia Eagles coming to MetLife Stadium. So your first look at the Eagles. The Giants are going to play the Eagles twice in the back end of the season. And uh, this first game on November 28th is at MetLife Stadium. Uh, obviously, there's no love lost between these two franchises with what went down at the end of last year. Not that there was any love lost before that. Right. Yeah, and, and I'm sure the fan base, the Giant fan base, are they're really – probably circling this game to really give them the business. So then after the Eagles, the Giants are going to go to Miami. That that game is the 17th game. That's the game that this year the NFC East plays the AFC East, and the NFC East teams are all visiting teams. And then next year the NFC East will be home teams. Guys have to go down to Miami. It's another guy with Patriot Roots and Brian Flores and what he's trying to do with that program. They've got two with down there. This is going to be an interesting matchup between Joe Judge and Brian Flores, two former Belichick assistants. And they are. And then you have Patrick Graham, who worked in that in that system for a couple of years before coming to the Giants. It will be. And I, w- I will venture to say this will be the most difficult game for the Giants to prepare for. Then it's off to the Chargers and Justin Herbert, talented New coach, new staff, but he certainly showed people he could play in the NFL last year. Yeah, big arm, not afraid of the big moment. Uh, They just haven't been able to hold on. Last year, they couldn't hold on to lead. So uh, hopefully the Giants can get a big enough lead where they don't have to worry about that. And then it's three division games over the last four. You got Dallas coming in on December the 19th. Giants go to Philadelphia the following week. Then the Giants take on the Bears in Chicago. And Carl... The last couple meetings against the Bears have not gone well. I mean, last year, Saquon Barkley got hurt. If you remember two years ago, they they should have won the game in Chicago, found every which way to lose the game. But then there's added motivation. They really want to beat the Bears because that worsens the Bears' record, which helps the Giants' first-round draft pick that they got from the Bears this year. Exactly. They They want the Bears to have a horrible year, and they want to add to that. And then the Giants wrap up the season against Washington uh, at home. Uh, So three NFC East games over the last four. Carl, the league has always tried to do that to sort of make it so that it sets up division races down the stretch. And and I got to think that, you know, the Giants should be in the mix this year. Uh, And it's going to be interesting to see which one of the other two NFC East teams they're in the mix with. Yeah, if you got Dallas or Washington – and it's late in the year, that's a possibility that that could be a game that gets flexed and the Giants will get a primetime game at home. 
That's right. Uh, games late in the season can be flexed as well. 17 games on this year's NFL schedule. Carl, enjoy kicking it around with you. Can't wait to get to work. Indeed, same. Hey, Giants fans, make sure for the latest news on Big Blue, check out the Giants on Giants.com, the Giants Facebook page, YouTube channel, uh, the Giants Twitter handle, Instagram, and always Giants.com. Thanks for watching.